Another eye defect that occurs uh, usually when people age is what we call cataract. In the case of cataract, the lens of the eye, as you can see it in this image, gets darker. It becomes less, less translucent. Uh, when it becomes dark, it, doesn't, it does not transmit light anymore and essentially uh, reduces the vision person and eventually blinds the person. Um, the, common, uh, the common correction for cataracts, so we have an obscure thing in the eye, so what they do is, uh, in the past, they used to just come into the eye and remove that lens. Now, once you remove that lens, uh, the lens is going to behave like a pinhole camera. It does not have, it's not going to be capable of accommodation is not going to be able to see things clearly when there is a lot of light, but uh, the person can still see. It's better than having a dark object obscure the retina. Uh, nowadays, uh, because of uh, innovations in technology, what they do, they remove uh, the lens and replace it with another lens. It is interesting actually how they do that procedure, and I'm not sure if they do it everywhere the same way, but um, they do it in a very uh, less invasive procedure where they make a very tiny hole. That tiny hole would bring in, would go into uh, the crystalline and actually destroys it right in there and sucks the debris. So kind of uh, just think of these power tools that you will use at home, like the drills and stuff like that. So they have something microscopic, very tiny, that goes in and works on the lens, destroying it that way, and a vacuum just next to it, sucking in the debris. The minute they get rid of that lens, what they do, then through that same tiny opening, they insert a sort of a balloon. And that balloon, a transparent, of course, balloon, they feed it in with a particular liquid with the desired index of refraction, and then they close it off, and that's the lens. The lens is actually a balloon that they, that they inflate within the eye and making a little bit, um, the cut then is very tiny, making the surgery not that traumatic and easier on the patients, especially for older people when they have other diseases where surgery can become very traumatic to the individual.